What it do, baby? That's gonna be my new intro because I just, I just, I just love it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time watching a video of mine, hello, my name is Lanye, and in today's video, we are going to be using the new Jackie Aina ABH eyeshadow palette. Jacket, 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 jacket. When I saw that she was coming out with a palette with them, I was like, I was literally starstruck. Like my husband will tell you, I was like, baby, like oh my gosh, Jackie got a palette with ABH, and he was just like, oh my gosh, like that's amazing, because like that, like Jackie getting the opportunity to come up with a palette in a concept with ABH is like my literal look, like dream goal. So to see her do it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like she did it, I could do it, like let's fucking do it. I am so extremely proud of Jackie. Like I've been watching her for so long, literally since like 2013 when I was in college. Like it's, it's, it's so amazing. Like Makeup Game On Point is now Jackie Aina, like, it just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. She literally came up in the game and she's paving the way for other people of color, black women specifically, black women and men specifically to like just take this industry by storm. You know, she's just doing the damn thing. So I'm just so excited that I was able to support her and ABH because the last couple of palettes I've been falling off of, you guys know, the last one I reviewed was the Norvina palette and then the wedding came and then all of that came so I wasn't able to afford any other palettes but this one, this one was gonna go on my credit card regardless because I had to buy this palette. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. It's different than the ABH packaging. They usually do their velvet kind of thing which I like, but the velvet kind of gets dirty, like if you mess with like a lot of eyeshadows and things. So I like that this is like kind of, it's not like a leather, like a pleather kind of thing. It's it's very nice. It's got like a snake skin print and it has her logo that her chocolate daddy that she said we can't call him that. So Dennis made. <laughs> and then it just says ABH at the bottom. So when you open this palette up, I'm sure you guys have seen it because it's been all over Twitter. She was literally trending on Twitter. Jackie Ina was, trending like I can't even spit that out it's just so like mind-blowing uh, but this is what the inside of the palette looks like you still get the traditional ABH brush that has the blending on one side and a like packer or like a I usually use it for like lower lash line work for on the other side and then there's the palette this palette when she said that she made this for people like us I was just like yes like that's what we need um, I don't understand why other people are upset that she said that she made this palette for dark skinned beauties or, or black women, men and women, like, you know, dark skinned people, um, people of color, people that have some melanin in their skin, because I feel like every palette is, from some brands, are geared towards other people, you know? So it's like, I just felt, I personally felt like a sigh of relief that I'm able to use every single pal every single shade in this palette and not have to make it work for like a lid shade as opposed to its intended crease shade. It's just it just feels really nice to be included in a palette and be able to use the entire thing in itself. So for me it meant a lot. But these are all the shades. She has a ton of pinks and purples and she has some rose gold, she has some green, she has some golds like and then she has your little neutrals that you would need. So a lot of people were saying this was like the green and purple palette, but I personally don't think so. I think she made an everyday palette useful. Like you can use literally every single shadow and get a different look. I love that they have the dual chromes in this palette. I haven't seen ABH really do many dual chromes besides like one of their eyeshadows, but I am excited. I'm not gonna do any swatches because like Jackie said, but um, I just want to show you guys, but I'll insert a, um, a picture of her swatches just so you guys can see the swatches if you haven't seen them already because you know some people aren't on Twitter, some people aren't on Instagram, so I will include a screenshot of some swatches right here so you guys can see them on darker skin or Jackie's skin per se, but 
we're gonna go ahead and get into the eyeshadow look. So I think I'm going to play with the purples today and the pinks because I haven't done a purple look in a long time. You guys know y'all love purples. So I think I'm gonna play with some purples and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's sing the song. Jagged, 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 So I know I just said that we were going to start on the eyes, but I've been seeing a lot of comparisons on Twitter um, from a lot of people saying that her palette looks like every other ABH palette and they're not surprised, they're not overwhelmed with happiness, they're not intrigued, it's just not what they envisioned. So I decided to pull out my lovely stack of ABH palettes. These are the palettes that all started with the 14 shades as opposed to the 12 shades or 10 shades I think they used to do. So I'm going to pull these all out and we're going to compare them one by one. It's going to be just quick, fast, and in a hurry. If you don't want to see this portion of the video, I will insert a time stamp as to where the eyeshadow tutorial actually starts if that is what you're interested in. This is Subculture and Subculture is a completely different color scheme than the Jackie Ina palette. This one's a lot more fall, it's a lot more um, plums and mustards and blues and greens and it just doesn't look like it at all. The only palettes I don't have, like I mentioned, is the Alyssa Edwards and the Riviera palette. I want to buy those palettes. I just feel like I'm just too behind on the trend, you know what I mean? Like it's just been there, done that type of thing, so I might just have to skip those. This is Modern Renaissance. This is an OG, everybody loved this palette. This is actually a pretty, probably top five ABH palettes of mine. Now, the reason people think that this palette reminds them of the Jackie palette is because of the pinks. So she has Supreme and Pinker, which are pretty close to like Love Letter. Um, Pinker is a little more close to Love Letter than it is Venetian Red. And then you got Wiggleese, which is like a coppery red. Um, that's pretty similar to like a Venetian red, but it's more in like a shimmer satin form. So that is why I would think that people would think these two look alike. Um, she also has Credit, which is a more chocolatier brown than Cypress Umber. Cypress Umber is a little more like neutral cool tone brown, but people don't understand. I don't think people understand the the different shades. Like it, it's not the same exact shade. There's a different like different undertone, there's different tones of browns, there's different, like you can have a shimmery brown, you can have a matte brown, you can have satin brown, like there's different formulas to browns and just because it looks like a standard brown doesn't mean it's the same brown. We also have the Self Made palette, which I love this palette mainly for Pink Champagne, Deep Purple, and Isla. I love those colors. I don't get much of use of this because I feel like the formula of this palette wasn't as good as the other palettes, but this is an old palette. Um, this one, they look nothing alike. The only thing I would say is Shookington is a purple, but nothing, nothing alike. There's also Hot Chocolate, which Hot Chocolate is darker than, um, than Credits, but that is literally the only, only two shades that I would say that would be similar. So that's three X's. Then we've got Soft Lamb, which Soft Lamb was the palette that Norvina said that she created for her mother, which is an everyday neutral palette. This palette is beautiful. Shimmers are amazing, everything is beautiful, beautiful about it. What I love the most is that you have your transition shades, you also have your browns, and you have a matte black and a burgundy red. So you have a lot of transition shades. The only shade that I would say would be similar is like Soleil and Glistening. But Glistening has a lot more gold than I would think Soleil would have, but those are the only two that I would say would even come close to being similar because Credit and once again, Cypress Umber, completely different. So the Norvina palette, whoa, what is this doing in there? Okay. So the Norvina palette was a lot of purples, a lot of pinks, a lot of champagnes. This is the palette that I would say would probably be the closest between the two because of the purples and the pinks. So she has Supreme in this palette, which is like a neon pink, and there's Love in this one, which is like a lighter pink. Um, she also has 
like ginger and eccentric are pretty close in tones, but not exactly the same. I would say eccentric is a little more orange um, than ginger. And then you have Zam and Summer, which are like the rose gold tones. You have Shookington and Celestial that are purples, but literally those are the, like the only four shades that I would say would be close at all. But I think people get these two the most like flat because of the color scheme. That's what I would think. But I think people don't understand that Trust Issues sponsored in Dollas, Dollas? gotta get like my New York action Dollas are <laughs> all different colors like that I just I don't get why people think that it's like the same exact palette over and over um, we all know that sultry palette was the cool girls dream this palette is nothing like Jackie's palette at all like this one is it's beautiful for your like like your topes and your like those type of shades but other than that this palette was a, like a little of a flop for me because I'm just not a cool tone girl but I bought it to support my girl Anastasia and Norvina um, and then we have the Prism palette which is probably my favorite ABH palette I haven't tried the Jackie I know one yet but this one's probably my favorite this one is nowhere near Jackie's palette like, this has neon greens and heels and golds and stuff like that like this is a very pretty palette but those are all of the ABH palettes that I have that are the same size as the Jackie palette but the only palette that I would say is even close to being similar is the Novena palette because of all of the purples that her palette has and the rose golds that her palette has but I think Jackie shook it up a little bit different because of Trust Issues, Duolas, Sponsored and then Wigglies. Like those three colors I have not seen and Lituation. I keep forget. Lituation kind of reminds me a little bit of... No, no. I was gonna say it reminded me of Cyborg, but Cyborg is a little bit more of a silvery. Lituation looks a little bit more purpley. Like, let me swatch it. Like, this one looks a little bit more like purpley, grayish kind of color. Um, and then sponsored is like like that duochrome, like max um, blue brown. What it reminds me of. Um, like, it literally reminds me just of that color. Like, it's got that brown undertone, but it's teal. Dollars is that gold, it's like a greeny gold. And then trust issues, like she said, it's just that color that like gives you trust issues. Like it looks one color, but it's not. Like it looks like it could be a white, but then you swatch it and it's like a white gold or a, right, a white with like yellow undertones. Like this color is beautiful. So those three colors, or these four colors, I feel like in itself just changes the whole dynamic of the palette and makes it not reminiscent of Norvina's palette. Okay, so I do have the ABH eye primer that I bought my, probably like a couple days ago, so I am gonna give this a try. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, so we shall see how I like it. But if you've tried it out, let me know how you like it. I don't think you're supposed to set this down either. So I'm actually kind of a little nervous as to how this is gonna work. Cause I like to set down my eye primers and stuff just to protect them, but I'm not gonna buy a lot of this, just a little dollar. Okay, so the first shade we are going to use is Supreme. It's the neon pink color. Um, this color is really pretty and I think it can make a really pretty color, like a really pretty lid color. And this is going to go into my upper crease. This is going to be like my transition shade. Since I'm working with purples, um, I wanted to do something a little different and do like, instead of like a neutral color in the crease, do more of like a pink in the crease. I'm using a JH32 brush to apply this. There is some kickback in the palette. If that is a deal breaker for you, there is some kickback from this matte color in the palette. To me, kickback isn't really like do or die. Um, now if it's excessive, then it's like, okay. But if it's just some kickback, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It, it's a pigmented eyeshadow, you know what I mean? So. And so far this primer, so far so good. I'm not like, it's not bad, it's not bad. Next I'm gonna take Big Wig, which is the purple in this palette. 
This is going to go on a JH35, which is just like a E25 um, brush from like Sigma. And this is going to go in the crease. Now this is going to add some definition to the look and deepen up the crease shade a little bit. really making sure that I bring this color inward because I am going to be doing like a half cut crease fashion. So I'm going to bring this color inwards just to create that definition. Now I'm going to switch over to a deeper purple because I feel like I just need something a little darker. This is Matte's Shadowy Lady. It's just a matte purple eyeshadow. It's not by ABH, I know, but I just felt like I needed something a little darker. This is a Morphe M514 brush. So just is a really tiny detailing brush is just going to get right into that socket and see it just adds that perfect amount of depth and darkness to this look that's just going to take it to the next level i'm just going to go back into big wig and just go over it right over the top of shadowy lady and just do some circular buffing motions just to buff that eyeshadow in. And then I'm going to take some more of Supreme and just go over the top. So I always go back in with the other shades and just go over the top to make sure that you can see every color peeking through. This is pretty. So I'm gonna take more of that ABH eye primer. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take my Dose of Colors concealer brush, just look like this. And I'm going to use this to cut out my crease so that way I can go in with shadow on the lid and it's not, you know, covered by any other eyeshadow. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna take is Zam. I'm gonna take Zam with a JH41 brush. This is like the foiled rose gold. Oh, gorgeous. This is gonna go at the top half of my eye. So I'm just taking it mainly on the tip of the brush. Following along that cut. Also going into this inner portion. And then I'm going to take a MAC 242, I believe. And I'm going to take some of Shookington, the purple. And it's going to go right underneath. We're kind of going to do like that double layer kind of look. Now this eyeshadow is pigmented. And I'm gonna start to blend this up. So that way it's blended into Zam. And then we need to take some more of Big Wig and blend it into this outer edge so that way it's not like a harsh line and just a little bit more of shadowy lady across the lash line So I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and then I'm going to pop Boots, which is a pink eyeliner from ColourPop right over the top of the black. I'm just gonna do like a straight line. I will fast forward this portion just because it's hard for me to talk, talk and do liner. For the liner, I think I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Liner. This is one of my favorite liners. And then like I said, ColourPop Boots right over the top just to tie in the pink. Cause the rose gold is rose gold. It's not like pink, so. I, feel like it just needs a little more um, pink just to tie in with the transition shade. This 
is exactly how I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and do my face, and then I will pop on some lashes. I don't know what lashes I'm gonna put on, but I'll be back for final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the same eyeliner, uh, the ColourPop Boots liner into the waterline. I think that would be cute if I just kind of kept it cohesive like that. So this is gonna go into the waterline, and the brush I'm using is a Suva 610 brush from Suva Beauty, and I really like this brush. It was definitely worth like the 16 bucks or something like that. It's a really tiny detailing brush, and that's what I like about it. That's why I decided to purchase it, because, you know, when I'm doing like a double wing liner like I did today, I need like a small kind of detailing brush. So I'm gonna pop this pink into the waterline. And it tickles, tickles, tickles. Oh, gosh. Then I'm gonna take some of Big Wig and I'm just gonna take it on the same M514 that the other purple was on, so it might make it a little darker, which I don't mind. I'm going to start by putting this right underneath of the lash line. This is just gonna add some shadow, especially since we just put that pink, it's really gonna make that pink pop. Um, I really, really like to add a shadow. Um, to the lower lash line whenever I put like a, a eyeliner in the waterline because I feel like it really helps it to pop, um, especially a dark shadow like this one. And I'm not being very particular about this. If you did want to be very precise with it, I would suggest to switch over to a pencil brush. This is a small, very small, like tapered blending brush, which I really, really like this brush. Probably end up getting more of them. Um, but I'm using this mainly to kind of like diffuse it and blow it out because I don't want it to be very precise, but if you like that look, definitely do a little more precise. I'm gonna take some Persine, <laughs> some Supreme, I'm changing the, the eyeshadow colors and just go directly under that with the same M or JH32 brush. Just go directly underneath and just make it like really blown out. This is just gonna add some of that pink down there, blow out the purple and help to blend it out. Now this look I know might not be everybody's cup of tea because it is getting onto the lower um, under eye area, but I think it's really pretty. And next you just need some mascara. So the final step for this look is lips. I was gonna do purple, but I think that's just too much for me. Too much right now. So I'm gonna take my Kiss Lip Liner in Chocolate and I'm going to line my lips. So if I were a little more daring, I definitely would have lined with a pink, or I'm not a pink, a purple. Um, why does that look weird? But I'm not. So I'm going to take some of ColourPop's Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in Fantasia. All time favorite nude gloss at the moment. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. It doesn't have like a ton of color. But when paired with a brown lip liner, I think it just adds the perfect color. And I also like that it's a brush applicator instead of like a doe foot. Okay, you guys, so that completes the look. Let me know what you guys think. It's definitely a colorful moment. I haven't had one of these in a while, so I felt like it was kind of needed. Um, I would love to know your thoughts. Um, my thoughts on the palette is the palette is beautiful. The packaging is just superb. I absolutely love the packaging. I think it was really unique for it to be like an iridescent kind of multicolor kind of packaging. Definitely different than something um, ABH has done. The palette is beautiful. For one, I love that it's brown girl friendly. Like anybody is able to use this palette and get some really amazing, beautiful color schemes and colorful looks out of this as well as some, you know, everyday neutral eyeshadow looks. Absolutely love that about it. I love that there's some purples, some pinks, some greens, some browns, some roses, some golds. Like I just love the diversity of this palette. I feel like it speaks to who we are as black people. We're just diverse. We can do everything. We can wear everything. We're just amazing. <laughs> um, so I really, really love this palette. The quality is A1. Throughout the video, you guys didn't see any like 
very minimal fallout, no patchiness, nothing like that. I absolutely love the palette. ABH has some of the best eyeshadow formulations. The only thing I wish was that Subculture wasn't subpar because that was a really, really pretty palette. I really love that palette, but ever since then, they've like upped the ante on their shimmers, on their mattes. Like they literally are the best in the game right now. So absolutely love this. It retails for $45. I ended up paying for express shipping, so it ended up coming up to like $55, I think it was, for this palette with like taxes and shipping and all that stuff. So not expensive at all. Like it's literally not that expensive, um, but it is amazing. It will be in stores pretty soon, I'm sure, if not already now. But definitely pick this up. Support your girl, Jackie. Very, very, very beautiful palette. I'm super extremely happy with it. I'd love to know if you guys would like to see a palette series on this palette. I'm already gonna do it, so it doesn't really matter what you guys say, <laughs> but I am planning to do a palette series, which if you guys are new to my channel, a palette series means that we will be doing one look every single day, Monday through Friday of next week using only this palette. So I'm kind of excited to see what different kind of looks I could do also. Because we've got roll-ups, we've got trust issues, we've got sponsors, we've got lituation, we've got wigglies. We've got so many different colors, like lid colors that you could do with this palette. But I don't even know what I'm going to do. So, super excited for that. But let me know if you guys are just as excited to see different palettes using this palette. Shout out to Jackie for making this palette for all of us. Shout out to Novina and Anastasia for picking our girl Jackie to be the first um, black woman collaborator for their brand. Hopefully there are more to come. I really, really hope so. <laughs> Keeping my fingers crossed, you know, for when I get big or whatever, you know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if I left anything out, any questions, concerns, comments, or anything like that. I'll leave them all down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!